everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to look slightly different than our normal video because we're not really getting anything done at the house. <laughs> but we are at kind of a standstill. Um, the next thing, the next big thing at the house is electricity, getting it all wired, super exciting. And I do have some updates on that whole process. So this weekend Jay is out of town and there's not like a lot that I can really do personally here. Um, because I have no skills, as you guys know. But thankfully there still are a few things that I can do with Jay while we wait for the electrician. But I wanted to let you guys know that I did have a meeting with my electrician and it was very helpful. So let me tell you all about it. Okay, so my electrician came and met with me and we did like a whole walk through the house, which was really, really awesome. He agreed that we were ready for electric, which is awesome news. Of course, we have to wait until he's ready because he has a few jobs ahead of us, which is such as life, you know. But he thinks that he will probably, hopefully, be able to come within, like, it's going to be several weeks, but I'm on the schedule, so it'll be at some point. However, if it's really rainy around here, he said that he might be able to get here earlier, so we'll see. Anyway, the walkthrough with him was really, really helpful because... So you recall that I had worked on some sketches and I've been kind of going back to those and fine tuning them. Also, when I had started the sketches, I didn't even have, like we didn't even have the dormer. We hadn't even thought of having the dormer, like actually really, really thought about doing it. So that wasn't a thing at the time. So therefore I have to make new sketches or I've been working on new sketches that have the dormer, you know, where I want the outlets in the bathroom, etc., all that stuff. But talking with him was very helpful because, like, he was saying all the things that I need to be thinking about, which is so much. It's, like, a little bit terrifying because it's kind of important. But, you know, you need to know which way your door opens so you know which side to put the switch on. You need to know, you know, where you want your lights and how, where you want your light switches and outlets, important outlets and just everything. You know, you have to really, really have it planned because... Now is the time to do it, obviously, when the walls are totally empty and you don't want to have to go back and say after, oh, I wish I had this here, you know, because then it's going to be so much more work. But I've been working on sketches, all of these little things. Um, I've also been looking into, like, lighting. So my thing with the lighting is I'm thinking, I know I want some sort of recessed lighting, and I would love to know all of your opinions on this, um, what you have and what you like or don't like. I'm leaning towards like the LED lights that are just circles and they're just on the ceiling. Basically, you don't really think about them, they're just there. Um, I know that there's also like the older school kind of style with the that's like the hole in the ceiling and you screw the light bulb in. Um, from what I've heard, I think that the LED one is a better option for me. But I'm not super picky about the light. I just want it recessed and I don't want to really think about it. I just want there to be light everywhere. There are a couple places like over the peninsula in the kitchen and over the dining room table that I want like a nicer, you know, however I'm gonna do that fancier lighting. Um, but even that, like he's like, you gotta know exactly where you want it and do you want it like a one, one hole or, you know, all these different things. But there are also a couple places I want fans. So, you know, all of these things you have to think of. But if you guys have super suggestions or things that you think I should be doing differently, let me know in the comments below because I gotta know about it before it's too late. But anyway, I'm really excited that we're getting to this point that he, the electrician said that we're ready, we're just waiting for when he has time to get us in. And, because once the electric is done, I mean, guys, insulation, sheetrock. Can you imagine? It's going to look so much different. And that stuff is going to be, I love it when, when things happen, when you're doing things and they just like, you see a huge difference. You know, sometimes you just don't see any difference. But that's going to be insane. So exciting. And he said that when he does come and do the electric, I mean, you know, it'll be in a few days, it'll be like done, you know, which just sounds fantastic. I can't even wait. So that's where we're at. That's the update with electric. Hopefully next video we will be, um, Jay will be back and we can be working on something. There are a few things, jobs that still can be done before electric gets done. Um, like we're working on the floor and the bathroom upstairs, that kind of stuff. And I think we can start with some of the plumbing for the bathroom, so all of these things are exciting and can still be done even as we wait for the electric. And I also, guys, I talked to Seth the other day um, about starting to think about the addition outside, seeing when I can get on his schedule because um, he's going to be doing the concrete for the footer and all that stuff. 
So that'll be really, really exciting too. I'm hoping, you know, at least to get that going this summer season. Um, so that'll be super exciting. So that's what's going on. It's very, very exciting stuff. Slowly and surely we are making great progress and we've come so far. So thank you for watching. Thank you for your suggestions and your comments and just for sticking with me through this whole journey. So I will see you next time. Hopefully we'll be back at work and making progress here at the house. I hope you have a great day.